Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today it's time for another quick video on product testing. So not the usual paint or pouring medium. I always try to figure out if there are effects that you can achieve with stuff you have in the house. So I found this bottle that catched my eye because it's so nicely yellow. Um, and this is wallpaper and paint protector. So what I would expect is that it's um, water repellent because we have that at the wall where we need to clean from our dog mess that makes mess with everything. So I don't know exactly how what it will do. It could work like silicone because also silicone repels the, the water from the paint and makes little holes like that. If you are interested in the background information, check the basic playlist. But I want to try it two ways. So this is normal mixed with pouring medium and water. And I'm going to put it in like silicone, so just a few drops. But I also want to use it like water and put it in there. So instead of a pouring medium. Okay, so that's why I have a little syringe. and going to put some drops in there and then I'm going to mix it. Okay, so that took a while, but that was just because the blue seemed to be old paint. Because when I'm experimenting, I of course don't use the, the brand paint. Um, but if you have that, just keep just keep going because it will dissolve mostly. So when I put it in there as drops, of course it's way more liquid than a silicone. Uh, it doesn't show me any funny reaction yet. Silicone would be swimming on top, but yeah, this one is more liquid, so perhaps I just don't see it. And when I mix it, it didn't behave any different than water or pouring medium. So, let's see. You can never eat too much sushi, right? All the little pots. So for now, there is no real reaction in the cup. That does look a little different did something with the white but it can also be that this breaks the pigment connection huh? so difficult to tell but it looks like a little bit like it does something if you do testing the color combination yellow and blue is always good because you get some additional green so you can see also how it mixes into different colors and if you ever wondered if you can pour on this kind of coasters yes you can so you see there is some weird mixing going on i don't think that it reacts well together It's actually pretty interesting. It's just a pity that I lose comparison because it's now all one color. But there was something. It looks almost like it does make cells. It's a bit stupid that my table is not leveled. It 
just blowing a little bit because I, I don't want to torch it to see if cells comes up. So you can also do that with blowing on it a little bit. And yeah, you never know if it does any bloom or anything like that. I'm a bit torn. I think you would need to repeat this because here it looks a bit like it gets kind of the colors weird. You know, there's like as if it would be powdery. But on other parts, in the blue, it looks really nice. No, but if you look now, it, it, it breaks. Something is going on here which doesn't work together. It's, it's broken cells, it's powdery, so that's not good. And here, it does actually do something very fine. If I blow on it, it actually does do a little bit, do the lathing thing. Do I still have anything left of that? That was with the drops. Okay, let's see. When it's experimenting, it gets always slimy. So this was this cup. Don't have so much paint left of this one, but a bit. You can now also see in the cup that it is kind of placing This is a little bit more like you would do a flip cup. But let me get a clean one. I use this for testing, so it doesn't matter if it's all messed up. Gonna clean it off later. Okay. Just a little bit surprising that here the paint really breaks and the cells look powdery and all so it might be a question of dosage look this is how it looks on the canvas too can you see this is it focusing i don't So I blew on it a little bit already, so the paint didn't move yet a lot, and I have really cool tiny little cells. So it, that would be like more like really careful not moving the paint too much. For like a flip cup or something, we need to see now how it behaves when you move it, because that's normally when cells break or pigments break, things like that. So let's just move it around a little bit where I always move it around a lot then which you know eventually would not do look at that it actually does something cool I mean look at this It's surprising, so it's a little a bit a question of dosage. I'm gonna blow on it again. This seems to be a little bit bloom effect. I mean, look at it. I mean, this is really cool. Can you see that, or is it not sharp? Yeah. This is really, really cool. So normally experiments lately don't really work out, but this is cool. Very tiny cells, lacing. 
you can blow it around without breaking. It mixes the paint nicely. So this is cool. I like it. I'm going to try something bigger with it. First time in a long time that an experiment worked. I'm going to let you know if it changes when drying, but for now this looks really like an organic lacing kind of thing. Very cool. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of thing. There's a playlist with product experiments and you enjoy the mess too. Um, not good as a pouring medium. Very interesting results as a drop-in. Okay, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you back soon.